Hello everyone. Good morning wherever you're at, good afternoon or good evening. In this tutorial, I am going to show you something really cool. Um, I'm gonna show you how you can make covers for your journals without having to spend even one penny on them. So I'm going, I like to buy journals, but a lot of people might wanna start journaling and think that, oh no, I can't start journaling because I don't um, have enough money, I don't have the money to go spend on the supplies and all of these kinds of things. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to make one without having to spend any money just from the things that you will have laying around the house. Now, I'm gonna go through different ideas because some of you might have some of these things and sometimes, and you might not have other things. So this will give you a lot of different options on what to do for creating. First, we're gonna create the cover. I am gonna show you a few ways that you can decorate from things in your home on your journal covers. And I'm also gonna show you a couple of things that you can use um, to apply those um, you know, designs to your covers. Um, and then we're gonna do another video where I will show you how to do the signatures and how to make the insides of the books of your journals um, without, just by using the things that are around your home. Um, so we're going to get started here. First, I wanted to introduce you to Figment. This is Figment, and Figment is my favorite Disney character. If you've ever been to Epcot, there is a ride where they feature uh, Figment and I have him around to remind me to be creative. He is where I get a lot of my creative genius moments from. And uh, so I like to have him around. It just really instills in me and gives me memories of being at Epcot Center, which is really close to my house. Actually, it's only three hours away, um, but where I can really get, explore my creativity and my you know, thoughts and ideas um, so this is kind of just like a little reminder. So I wanted to introduce you to uh, my figments. All right, so first thing is you can make a journal out of any box that you have in your kitchen. So this is a Ritz uh, Cheez-Its uh, box, okay? So as a Cheez-Its box, this one has a nice wide uh, spine. So this would become your spine. This would be, and you, you know, you would you can turn it this way. Let's turn it this way so you can see it. Um, like what it looks like if you're using, and even some people like just, this is called a craft look, and this is just good enough. So you wouldn't even have to, you know, if you just did it like this and then decorate the insides, you could have a very natural looking uh, craft style of a journal. Um, so this, all I did here was I cut off, of course, one of the, uh, one of the spot, you know, one of the sides, and then I cut it open and cut off all the flaps, which I'll show you in a minute. I won't show you how to do that today, but just show you that this is one of the ways. Now, let's say that this is, this is a really good size as well for a journal, almost like an A5. Mm, let me grab my A5 journal just to show you. So this is my A5 bullet journal, and if I put it on here, Oh, yeah, it's just about, so I would consider it A5 because if you're gonna use your own journal, you're not gonna want, you're gonna want the paper to stop about a quarter of an inch in. So this would actually be, I would say, yep, an A5, yeah. So you could print out A5 paper on your printer and have an A5 journal with the Ritz uh, box. Now, this might be too thick for you, so there's a couple ways to do that. One is you can cut this totally out and then and then trim this and then lay it out and um, and then create the spine. I will teach you a little trick here that I learned that if you're going to use this and cover the whole thing, don't cover the whole thing with one piece of paper because it'll it'll bend and it won't bend correctly. And I've done that before and it didn't work out. So I when I started studying the YouTube videos on how people actually used like this whole piece to cover, what they do is they put fabric over it and fabric has a give to it. So a fabric colored covered journal would work good like this because as you're pushing it over, it's gonna keep the shape and it's not gonna tear and break open. When I do, when I cover them with paper, which I do most of my journals, 
Um, this one here is not a, this is not, this is uh, from a different box. I have a video on which box I used for this one, but you see it's smaller. This is one that I made myself, but, but, oh, but what I did was um, this one here, I made the spine, I'll show you. It's two pieces, it's the box and the box back. And then in the middle is a spine and you can see it's, it's, it doesn't stay together very well there. So I need to, and I put washi tape on the outside since it's for some reason the paper uh, kept a tearing here. And then I glued a piece of paper. So I have a insert here, a page cover here, and then you see this green is a different layer. So what I did was I layered that over the inside. So this one was made from a, um, uh, let me grab, I'm going to bend over and grab that box that fell down because I do want to show that to you as well. Okay. So let's say that that's A5 is just too thick for you and you don't want it, or maybe you don't eat Ritz or whatever. I don't. My son does, and that's how come I have those. Um, so the next one is um, you can do a thinner version. I made a really pretty um, wedding journal for one of my daughters by using a cake box. So this is, you can see it's thinner. And what I would do here is I would cut all this off and then um, would leave one spine. And I would take the one that, see this one here? You can see that this is the one that is glued on. So I would take that one off and leave this one on. Do you see what I'm saying? So I would take, yeah, so I would take this part off and I would leave this one on. So then, and then you would have one that is this, um, a nice thickness. Now this is going to be if we take our A5 journal again to measure it, it's going to be smaller than the A5. It's quite a bit smaller. You see that? Quite a bit smaller this way. And then this way, if we go this way, it is the same. So you could almost use the same, well, a little bit, it's a little bit narrower. So you'd want to trim the paper a little bit more than an A5. So this is another idea if you just want maybe to have, you know, one or two signatures in there, small, and um, you don't want a lot of signatures. The Ritz one would probably be good for about five signatures in there. All right, so that's that one. Well, let's say you don't, you want another one. Maybe you want it a different, you know, you want it skinnier this way, like, right? You want it more narrow. So this is a perfect one here. And again, you can just cut these off and trim them if you want, unless you want to make it a whole thing. But this one here, if we pull these flaps in like this, sometimes I keep them like I don't cut them all each time I get an empty box because some of them I use to decorate and then you can use them. You can cut these down and use them to put your stickers in, scraps of paper. Um, so it's a lot of good storage ideas for these as well. Anyway, so this would be about, this would be kind of thick, but it would be a lot narrower. And you, of course, you can cut that down if you cut it apart. So that's another one. Now, let's say you want to go even smaller. So if you went even smaller, here's my son's favorite Cracker Barrel, <laughs> mac and cheese. And so this one's already ready to make a book because I just thought this was so cute. So this one is going to be a fabric one that I'm making. And it's just going to be really small. It's going to be a gift. Um, so if we took it around this way, you could actually see maybe a little clearer of what that would look like. All right, so that's gonna be a lot smaller than an A5, right? So some people like it really small. I just wanna keep little notes in there and stuff like that. But this would make a very pretty journal. All right, so those are your box and you can go as big as you want. If you if you like to use the uh, eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper, then just save the larger cereal boxes. All right, so other covers that you can use. Let's go through some more. So the other one is if you have Okay, so these are those hanging file folders and I've made, and I love the hanging file folders journal. Unfortunately, I didn't take a video of the one that I made. I made one um, for a friend of mine, from actually for my daughter-in-law, and I forgot to video um, a flip through of it, but I did um, get one picture. I had her send me, I didn't even take a picture of it before I gave it to her, it was for Christmas. So these are the ones that have those metal things inside of them. So they'll have the metal, piece which I've taken out of this one okay so there'll be a metal thing that you hang the folder into the filing cabinet with um, so these you can are very nice because they're thick and not only that look what you can do you can take it 
because it's already got that crease here and that crease there. So you could glue that down. You could crease these down, right? You can fold, well, you, of course you would do this after. You could, if you want to have this on the outside, you could do that. If you want it on the inside, you could do that. So then you can just cut it down. Here's one that's been cut down a, a, a little bit. Um, so you could do from here to here. The size I made for her was from here to here. You know, this one. And this was the leftover piece that I had, which I thought would be really cool. I was going to so uh, glue all this down, but I was going to make um, the kind of um, pocket like this and this in here and just make a little portfolio and put some, I have some... Um, stickers that I, that I think were some little, um, sayings that are, they're not actually stickers, but you know, from those art packs that you buy, paper packs you buy from Michael's and Hobby Lobby and Joann's, um, a lot of times they'll have pages that have cutouts that you can do that have different sayings. And I always have those just mixed in with my papers. And I thought it'd be nice to have a place where I could just look into it and grab it if I need it. So I was thinking about making, making that. Uh, so that's one size if you want it to not throw it away after you cut it down. But so if you cut it down, it would be, you know, like about like that. And then these then become the pockets. You see that? And they're very nice and sturdy. You could have a back pocket and a front pocket. Really good idea. So the, this is a great way instead of throwing away something. If you have these in, at your home or maybe you work at a home office or you know people and they're going to throw these away. Um, I have three businesses that I run from home. So we're still in filing cabinets because we're in one business um, that requires us to keep paper um, contracts. So we do still have um, some filing. We haven't gotten rid of all of our filing cabinets, but I am starting to clean them out because we don't really use, you know, everything's online now. So this is a great way to utilize those um, things. And they come in these, oh, by the way, then this was the orange, this one was the purple. This is the way that you've probably seen in most office what they look like is this green color. And a lot of people like this green color as well. So it's the same thing, you see. And you can make these as, as you know, you can make little ones, big ones are cut in half and make two. You know, you could do that. That would be nice. That would be a nice uh, size like those, like that. Yeah, that would be a nice size as well. And these, really, you don't even have to decorate. That's good enough. You could decorate it however you want, but you don't have to really cover it with anything. So if you have pretty coloring paper, wrapping paper, tissue paper, um, whatever, you can cover it with all kinds of things. Um, but if you didn't want to, you wouldn't have to because it looks very nice just the way it is. Okay, the other thing, and then if you don't have hanging file folders, you can use regular file folders. So this is the same idea. And you can just cut this down into a smaller, so it would end up being smaller like this. Like you couldn't make it really fat because, um, here, let me show you another one. Um, it, you couldn't make it really fat. So see, you could cut it all down to make a, one about this size. This one here has just been stapled. This, this is uh, another idea you could turn into a journal. Now, these are books that I used to buy um, when my son was a lot younger. When my kids were a lot younger, we, I went to homeschool. We were home, they were all homeschooled. So I have lots of homeschooling supplies. So these are some of those blank books that someone had made. And I bought them for maybe a dollar a piece. And it's to have the children draw and write their own stories uh, to help them with writing. And I have a bunch of these left over. Um, and so these make, this is already a journal. You can just already make this into your journal. You could make, you could decorate the, the top a little bit more, make it, it's not, it's, it's like, um, it is a cardstock, but you could make it stronger if you wanted to. And the staples are just fine. You might want to take those out and sew your signature in if you want it to. Um, but anyway, so that's an idea, but you could take that kind of a template and then take these file folders and do the same thing. The other thing, you can strengthen these file folders if you wanted to by bringing it in and having your pocket right right here. So you could have a pocket right there in the back and you could have a pocket in the front and fix it up just like you do with, like I showed you with the hanging file folders, okay? The other thing that I just, that I found was um, when we were at Christmas, I, this was the, this is a box. 
of a clothing box and you can get these after Christmas for, I don't know, a whole package for 87 cents. I found this one. I think this one, I found this a pack of these all different kinds of designs at Walgreens and I think it ended up being like 56 cents or something after and then also I saw some of these at Hob was the Hobby Lobby I think it was Hobby Lobby and they were like 90s percent off or something like that they don't give you there's not a lot of choices by the time they get to 90 percent off but still you could take a box top like this right you could cut these out if you wanted you could leave them you could create pockets to make it stronger and it's quite a strong box you could fold it and then cut it however you want it. Um, if you like the big size, it's right here. This would be awesome. You could just put uh, something else decorative in here and change this around a little bit somehow. I'm not gonna play around with that right now, but you could actually you know, have your pockets um, or you could trim it down. You know, you could trim it to where, or maybe um, you don't want that to be off center and you wanna bring it around like this, you know? And then turn it like this and trim it on both sides. And then you'd have a, like to about there and you just have the flower. So whatever you find around that has these nice designs on it, um, those will make great covers for journals. The next one up is this one here that someone gave to me and it is hand sewn and it's one signature. And what she did was she just took paper and uh, like art paper or something and she tore, did a tearing uh, technique there to make it look a little more, you know, old or artisty. And this is just a piece of um, paper and it looks like um, it, she might have printed it but what you could do is take a, a card. You know, you get a card in the mail and you could take that card and you could glue it down onto a piece of cardstock. And then that would become your uh, journal. The other thing that you can do to make a journal is um, you could do uh, the composition books. So if you have, if you like to do the larger size, you can take a composition book and there's all kinds of ways and you can see on YouTube, all kinds of people show, I haven't, I'm, I plan to do one, I haven't done one yet, how to decorate these and make them totally different. I've seen some people put vinyl covering, like wallpaper covering. I've seen some people use, at the Dollar Tree, they sell these wall decals would look, that look really pretty on, the, on, on these journals. And then you would fill this in, um, you know, decorate this and put your, your, um, flaps here for envelopes, for pockets. I mean, the same thing with the back. And then, you know, if you wanted to just write like this and decorate these, you could. But what I see a lot of people do is they'll glue these pages together because to make them thicker, they'll like take a couple and glue and then they'll start to make a, like a junk journal out of them. But you could do all kinds of things with this. Um, you know, the sky's the limit with, like I said, just let figment allow your your figment of your imagination, you know, just keep going. So that's another great, and you can, um, we have these again, because we homeschool, we had composition books. I used to buy them when they'd get down like 25, 10 cents and 25 cents at the store. So I would have these available for the children, for my children. And I'm planning to use up all this leftover homeschooling things um, so they're not thrown away. So anyway, that's a, that's a, a good idea there. Another idea is if you get big mail, like in the in the mail, and, the, and something that's nice and sturdy. This is very nice and thick. It was actually sent in this package by the U.S. Post Office. And so this, I could just take this and I could fold it here. And I would have a place, you know, I could sew in. But right already here is a great, um, oops, is nice and thick. A lot of people don't think about using this stuff. You always throw it away or recycle, but right here, and then you can decorate it however you want. Um, but this is a nice, it's nice. And once you add a little bit more weight to it, it's a very nice weight uh, for a journal. And uh, so again, you could cut it down, you know, whatever, whatever size you want. Um, the other one is um, envelope journals. And this is my, this is one of my envelope journals. It's like a traveler's journal size. And this is made from um, business envelopes. I'll show you. Uh, so the, this is made from a, 
from me, just one that I get in the mail. But it has only, you see how it has the, um, the window there? I, it, I made this out of one that only had one window, right? Not two. So these you can use um, to create journals with. And it's just one piece of paper and then this is a napkin over it and it's just glued down and it turned out, you know, really, really beautiful. And I have a video which I'll I'll link to it up here in my um in in one of the um cards that I add, info cards that I add to the to my video here. I will add this uh link to this so you can see the flip through of this and some of the techniques that I did um that I used for that. But this envelope like turned into this. And I only like to have one signature in these because it, you know, you're not gonna have, and it's sewn. So you're not gonna have, you can't make it really, really fat. Um, the next thing uh, about the envelopes, you can also make envelopes, journals a different way too. Let me just grab some envelopes. You can also do, um, take envelopes and then you can, I think I had one that I had started so I could save time by showing you. Oh, maybe not. You could take it and just put it inside. And there's a lot of videos uh, that show that too, where they, where you actually make the hole. Um, and you glue that in, and now this becomes um, your journal cover. You know, see? So this is something that's gonna go into the garbage anyway, and you can make it, and it, this envelope happens to feel really nice. So it'd be very nice to, to, to really embellish that. You could flip it around if you didn't like it that way and actually, you know, and glue all that down and then just have it, uh, have glue all this down. And then in the inside, do uh, more things. So it's whatever you like, you know, the sky's the limit here. Um, so that's one way. The other thing is they'll also, you can make the entire journal out of um, these envelopes. And all they do is keep taking these different envelopes and they glue, you glue like one, you put that in there, this one in here, then you take the next one. I don't think it's gonna work because I don't have, you kind of need the same, yeah, you need the same size and this one's like a little tiny bit bigger than the other. You would take um, like this here, right? And you would glue that down and then you would take another one. Hmm. I don't know, I don't have the right size, but you know, you would take another one and put that in as a as a page. And you would take another one and you could put that in over here as a page and you could just keep doing that. And there's all kinds of methods that people can do that. So pretty soon you just have all of your pages and it's all from envelopes that you are free. You have these, just start keeping them if you don't have them yet. And there's so much you can do with these used business envelopes that you get in the mail. Um, if you don't get a lot of mail, you can ask, you know, family and friends just to, to, to store these up for you, but there's so much that you can do for, I saw this one video, which didn't have to do with journaling, but she made out of the, um, I'll show you here real quick. Just another thing you can do with the envelopes is, um, the ones that are, have the like credit card or bills and stuff where. Um, it has this design here and that's a uh, privacy. It's called the privacy envelope. And this lady did very beautiful, cut them out, made very pretty lettering, and then glued them onto back of a little cardstock, um, sorry about my shaking, um, cardstock thing, little like, I don't know, like thank you cards and made her own little cards with it. And I'm gonna do that um, because I really like that, that look and feel. Um, also, if you were at, when we were doing this envelope, um, where's that envelope here? That envelope book that I was showing you, like this one here. The other thing you can do too, is you can take other pieces of paper. So this was, I'm just gonna throw this away. So I'm taking it off right here. Oops, there's a little bit of shadow now. The sun just went down. And now I have this piece of paper, so I could take this piece of paper and fold it in half if I want it this size. Or I could just take it and make it into the thirds like this. Like I could have a, actually have an envelope there, right? And then the piece of paper like this. And you could add that 
And then just, you could even add like a journaling or you could even write on top of the writing. So there's all kinds of things that you can do for these journals and journal covers. Now, the last one I wanted to show you, actually there's two more. So this is a book. You can make a journal out of a book if you have a book at home. This is my Nancy Drew book that I love and it's really old and I'm doing journaling in it. So I just start it and there's a lot of pages that I wanna save here. I have a little journaling card that I, that I made here and put it in here. Um, but a lot of this, like this, I wanted to keep. It's very authentic. And I wanted to keep her picture, the illustrations of Nancy Drew. And so then I did other little journaling cards and, you know, things like that. And I, this is one that I wanted to keep, but I colored in the tree, you know, so, and then I glued the pages together. But anyway, there's a lot you can do. You can create an entire, um, you know, journal out of these old pages. Um, so you can do that. And that's another thing, totally free. Now, um, one, the last one that I wanted to show you was um, crafting, a craft color. So this is two craft envelopes. Now, usually you're not gonna have these for free laying around your house. They're kind of pricey when you buy in the store unless you get them for 50% off, but I found some good prices on Amazon for them as well, which I'll link to just in case you want, if you like that. But uh, this is again, two envelopes that I, stuck in and you would glue this down and glue this and this would become your journal. It's very pretty. But let's say you don't have any envelopes like this laying around, you can just create them. Get it out, this is an old Panera bread. This is a Panera bread bag. I like it because it's nice and thick. It's got some details on it, um, designs on it. And you can just take this paper and take out whatever size you want so you can take down here the size you want and you can then just take it like this and, and cut it out. And then you can thicken this up with even more paper. So you glue part of the paper, you know, part of this to the other side. But this is a very nice thick paper. All right, so a couple of things next is, um, hopefully it's not getting too dark because the sun just really went down, but I was having too much shadow with too much light. Let me just look and see if I can just shed a tiny bit more light. I think that might work. It's not too shadowy. It's a little bit shadowy, oh well. Um, so here's free things that you're gonna have around your house. Glue, Elmer's glue will work. Glue sticks, glue sticks will work. Scotch tape, you usually have tape around and you can use um, electrical tape. You can use uh, the white um, tape, packing tape. You can use duct tape. Um, you can use whatever you want. So those are some ideas there that, that to do when you're starting to do your adhesive. Now for covers, um, I showed you the one with the, um, with what I did here with the um, envelope. So this is the, um, napkin that I use. So if you have napkins around your house, you can just use these napkins for your covers. So I just laid that over the, uh, the nap, you know, the, the envelope. Um, but I also took it off because it's, you need, it's, this should be three ply. You only want the first ply. So you would come in here and peel that off. You know, you wouldn't use this part. You would just, just use this part. And then you just apply it with glue and a paintbrush. Make sure you wash a paintbrush afterwards. But we're not gonna go into old techniques right now. I'm just going through the different ideas. So this is fabric. So if you have fabric laying around your home, if you have fabric around, you can just take this. Remember we took, I talked about the, um, don't throw these away. These make good cards um, and journaling cards and there's all kinds of things you can do with all your packing materials. So don't throw all those away. There's a lot you can do with those. Um, if we look at that, let me grab that box that was done, that was already folded up, hold on. Where did I put that box? Well, we can use this, oh, here it is. So if we, oh, actually let's use the Ritz box because it's bigger. You would just take this down and you'll, you, there's lots of YouTube videos that show you how to do this as well. And you would just, you know, you would take it and then glue it, right? So that it, the whole thing is glued 
and look and then you have this nice pretty nice pretty journal say with all glued and glued it all down and it would be really really pretty right so any kind of fabric scraps you have laying around the house um anything made out of cloth maybe that you're planning to give to the goodwill or something you can see if you can recycle it and use it in uh, uh for a journal cover Okay, so some other ideas to decorate for journal covers are any kind of uh, paper you have around your house. This is a card. This is a semi cardstock. This is about a sixty pound weight, and I have all the way up to one hundred and ten since I do home homeschooled. This is I had this piece of paper from homeschooling. Had a lot of maps, so this map here is a map of Africa, and it would make for a really nice um, you know journal cover as well. You could, a smaller one probably, or you could, I could take two of these pieces of paper and cut one, put it on one side, you know, and then um, cut it, another one, and put it on another side, you know, so I could have like, it looking like this, see? And all of that would be bent in, so that would be nice. So there's, that's another way you can use things that are laying around your home. Um, I printed this out on the printer. If you don't have a printer or maybe you found something somewhere that's a nice uh, sign, this is really pretty. It would look really nice on that composition book. I have lots of paper from the pre-software days, you know, so before you could, uh, when you had to like uh, print from your printer, but print on a piece of paper. I have tons of these like for Christmas. From I used to write Christmas letters to my clients and such. Um, so you, I just took them in one of my journals, my Christmas journal, I folded them in half and then I decorated them and this was free. It was just in my home. The other thing you can use are um, magazines and pages from that and also magazine covers. Like this would be very pretty if you cut off the buyer's guide here. And then this is a nice, thick, thick uh, journal, I mean, a uh, magazine. So I could cut this out and then I would just glue it right on top of a, um, you know, I could glue it right on top of the, whatever cover I wanted, whether it was the uh, file folders or, you know, whatever. Let me grab that smaller file folder. So we have, it's easier to work with here, sorry. All right, so let's say I wanted to cover this and I could just see how pretty that would be. I could just cover that, whichever piece of this that I want to come through. Um, and then I could look inside and make sure they're nice, thick magazine. The really thin magazines won't work for the covers because they'll crunch up. But here again is a really pretty uh, one, but you can just look through these and see there's a lot of these would make, this would even make a pretty one. So a lot of these would make really pretty, um, also inside pages, which we'll cover that another time. But a lot of these would make nice, this is a nice thick magazine paper. So there you have that. Um, you can look at catalogs that you get. My son gets the Express catalogs. And I love right here in the very beginning, right here, this is perfect for a journal cover. It says, get in the spirit, spread cheer, feel the warmth, share the love, bring joy, dress confidently, do it all with style, express yourself. So it's from Express, but you could cut that and it would make a beautiful cover, a nice thick cover. Um, you can also take the clothing, uh, people's smiling faces, whatever you like. Um, if you, you know, whatever um, you like to do, there's a lot of these would be good for um, inside pages, but also as well as you could do some of these for an outside page, like those slippers there would be kind of cool, or these boots would be cool, um, things like that. Uh, so that's another idea. The other one is actual regular magazines. So this is Architectural Digest. And this right here would be very pretty. You could cut it out. You could even, Living with Art is even pretty right there. You could cut it from here down and use that for a cover. Um, and then on the inside, you could just strengthen some of these, like print them, uh, glue them onto cardstock and then use the, the page. So... For instance, this is very pretty, right? But it's too thin. So you would wanna just tear that out. And then you would take your cardstock or almost cardstock, whatever paper you have, and glue it on there to make it stronger so it doesn't flip up and then glue this whole thing onto your cover or even create a cover. Look at that, isn't that pretty? You could even create a, in fact, I think I might leave that out because that's really pretty. That would make a really pretty signature cover okay 
So those are things you can do with magazines. The other thing that you might have lying around your house are old. Now this is an old, old map from back in the day before GPS. And it's made out of um, a semi-vinyl kind of material. And this would just be absolutely amazing. It was hanging on my wall, so it's kind of sticky. I still have sticky stuff from the, when we were studying geography with the kids. Um, so here's Washington and Montana, part of Wyoming, part of Oregon. Oh, it is old Oregon, sorry. And Idaho, uh, my favorite states, Washington, Oregon. Um, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Wyoming, California, my favorite part of the world. And you could take these and these would make beautiful covers and they're nice and thick and there's so much you can do. And then you have lots of leftovers to do all kinds of other things to make like a traveling journal. That would be cool. Um, so that's another idea. The other idea is um, you get free, you know, we get free um, calendars, right? Beginning of the year, get free calendars. And these are nice thick papers. So you could take these, these would make nice, really pretty, any of these would make um, nice, this is really pretty. This would make a really pretty cover and it's nice and thick. So you could glue it right onto the covers that you want and it would be pretty sturdy. This is another really pretty one. So you can just look and see like, what is it that you like? And you can get, and then you can also go to the dollar store, but of course I'm saying free, but if you go to the dollar store, you can usually pick up really nice calendars for a dollar. Um, uh, and then at other stores, you'll get them like super, super discounted in April, you know, March and April when they have to get rid of them because it's kind of late now to sell them. This is a really pretty one. So you could take it and then just um, use that and glue it onto, you know, the cover of your journal. It would be so pretty. And you could flip, you could make it even go around. Some, If it's a small one, you could, you know, small journal, right? The envelope size would work good with that. And then last but not least, if you are musicians and you have music around your house, you can take these old, now this is one that I antiqued, but you could take um, music paper because it's usually done, especially if you have a thicker quality and you can just tear that out. And then you can create your covers, you know, put a, and glue this, you could take that. That would be really pretty. I, on an envelope one, that would be nice too. And you can decorate this with ink it up and everything with inks or coffee dye it or tea dye it. And then that's a nice thick paper. I would say it's about a 32 pound. And then this would make a nice um, insert cover, you know, in the inside of a journal or even on the outside of a journal. So I didn't want to go too long today. So those are a lot of the ideas that I came up with where you can create an entire journal. I mean, you can do the whole thing for free. You don't even have to buy anything at all. But I am showing you how to use the things around your house to make the journal cover. Okay. And we'll do another video later on um, at another time where I show you how we can use the ins, how we can create tags and, and um, uh, pockets and all kinds of things inside of a journal from nothing but the things in your home. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like my video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please ring the notification bell so you can know the next time I do another video. And I would love it if you would leave me a comment. I do answer all of my comments. So I would love to um, see your comments and what are some of your ideas of what you can use. Um, uh, and your ideas about journaling. So thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next uh, journaling video.